Nurses, take him quickly. I'll go to the dispatch center. It looks like we got a new call. What's wrong with the patient? Cardiac arrest. Call ya? Call ya? Please help. Oh, aside. what's happening to him? Call a doctor from the intensive care. Stay out of the way. I need call a defib ya. now. I told you to stay out of the way. Stay over there. One hundred and sixty. Discharge. Two hundred and fifty. Again. One more. Again. That's it. Colia. Colia. You're alive. Doctor, you saved him. Thank you. Ladies, thank you, take you so quickly. much. Because uh, I have so to go to the doctor. triage center immediately. We have a new call. Go on. And good luck. Well, I was there, and there were no doctors around. And then there was a patient with heart failure, so I knew I... And you decided that they couldn't manage without you. My apologies. I won't do that again. I'm sure you will, Anya. I'm positive you will. After all, if I'm not mistaken, the term of your residency here is coming to yes. the end. Well, then, we would be delighted to have you stay here as a permanent staff member in our hospital. Me? It's so unexpected. Yes, you. <laughs> Thank you. Portrait of a woman in red. Well, the main thing is that they're keeping you. Congratulations. Yes, I'm so happy. About what, working in this flea bag joint? Come on, it's not that bad of a hospital. Oh, come on, it's a municipal regional one. The stench is so unbearable. <laughs> I'm fed up with these patients already. I don't understand what I'm doing here at all. Anyway, after my residency, I'll go to a private clinic with my parents. Well, there will also be people there who need treatment. Just don't worry, you know who goes there to be treated? It's all cosmetology. Women get silicone pumped in and voila. Why have you been so angry all day? Did you break up with Vodic? Mm-hmm. Well, don't be upset. To be honest, I never liked your Vodic. You think I'm upset? I'm just not gonna waste my time on losers anymore. There's so many available men around. I'm beautiful and I'm still young. Voila, life goes on. <laughs> So, tonight, I'm having a party in honor of my miraculous liberation. Tonight? Yes. What do you think? If I'm dumped, I should just stay at home crying and binging on sugar? <laughs> no, I was just going to... No, nope, it's not my style. Well, are you coming or not? Oh, Julia, I don't know. I'm so tired. I wanted to get some sleep after my shift. <laughs> You'll get enough sleep when you die. Well, are you coming? If you're not coming, I'll be offended. At uh, what time? Hmm, around nine. Come on, maybe you'll finally get to put on something nicer, huh? <laughs> okay, fine. Bye. Okay, bye. See, See you me. later. <laughs> Hi, Anya. Hi. Listen, there's a phone call for you. And where are you going? My friend invited me to a house party. Anya, hurry up. I need to use the phone, too. Uh -huh. Hello? Hi, Mom. I've just got home from my shift. Now I'm going to Julia's place. Listen, I have some news. I've been offered a job at the hospital after my residency. Uh -huh. Anya, hurry up. Listen, Mom, I'll call you tomorrow after work, OK? Yeah, take care. Bye. Natasha, this is Moscow Social Thank you. and you look like a farm girl. You look like you're wearing your grandma's dress. You have absolutely no sense of style. Mm. Hi. Hi. Come on in. W what is that? What? You look like you're going to walk your dog or something. I asked you to look nice. Oh, this isn't cool? Gosh, she'll be like a scarecrow at our party. What are we gonna do? Okay, come on, go to my room. You'll find lots of dresses there. There's also a mirror and makeup. I hope you know how to put on makeup. Yeah? Yes, let's go quickly. Faster, hurry up, go on. Go in there. Go, go, go. On him? Maybe. Why do you ask? Nothing. Just look the other way. Otherwise, you'll lose your sight. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Вот опять пригодились нам краски и кисти Рисовать переплетером желтые листья Увлекаясь такой игрой Встань окна свои открой Протяни мне свою ладонь Сводит с ума музыка ливня на старой кровли. Этот романс, осенний романс, мы назовем любовью. Алым цветом коснувшись губ и крыш по золотой, День пойдет выдувать из труб медные ноты. Увлекаясь такой игрой, ты проснись в этот мир со мной И останься со мной навек Даже если наступит снег Звонит с ума, не звонит с ума Музыка ливня над старой кровлей Этот романс, осенний романс Мы назовем любовью Мы назовем любовью Everybody, the concert is over. Thank you very much. I think it's time to dance. Dimitri, will you please dance with me? <laughs> of course. Hmm? Will you please go help in the kitchen, okay? Mm -hmm. Am I interrupting? No. <laughs> My name's Dimitri. I'm Anya. May I? Mm-hmm. I'm impressed with how well you sing. Have you taken lessons? <laughs> Actually, I'm a doctor. Mm -hmm. I'm a resident at the same hospital as Julia. Really? Are you a musician? Me? No. I'm about to graduate from film school. I'm a future cameraman. I'll make movies, shoot TV shows. Mm. Mm. Now we're about to shoot a feature film with my friend, but there's no money. <laughs> well, I'm sure you'll make it happen somehow. Listen, Anya, may I call you that? Yeah, fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have another offer. What do you say we get out of here, huh? I washed your dress and brought it back. Are you mad at me? <laughs> it's too much energy. The singer. Wow, such talented people coming out of the countryside. I wish good manners were taught there as well. Julia. I'm really sorry that I didn't say goodbye. Mm -hmm. I just didn't want to attract attention, and I had told you before that I needed to leave early. Girls! We have to go now. The meeting is about to start, and the doctor is not in a good mood. Shoot. Hello? This is her. I'm listening. Hi, it's me. What time are you finished with work? At four. Do you want me to pick you up? Okay, I'll see you then. <laughs> what is that? I'm asking. <laughs> What is that? This place is way too relaxed. What happened to discipline? I'm so Shh. happy. Please do not be mad at me. I'm they so grateful to you. If it weren't for I you, I never would have met Dima.
Listen, Anya, why don't we go to my place? We'll have some tea. I'll introduce you to my mother. Oh, that's a little uncomfortable. What's uncomfortable about it? I think it's about time, so let's do it. But what if she doesn't like me? Anya, I have the best mother in the world. I assure you, she's gonna love you. Really? Yeah, of course. Do you think we should stop somewhere and get her something on the way? Well, that's not a problem. We'll buy some dessert. My mom has always had a sweet tooth. <laughs> People who like dessert are kind. She sure is. Take this. <laughs> Come in, take off your coat. Mom? Anybody home? I guess no one's here. Hmm? What about your mom? I don't know. Maybe she's at our summer house. Oh, I see somebody hasn't been taught good manners. How about washing your hands first? Ever heard of that? <laughs> huh? I know, but it's very delicious. Delicious. Mm hmm And shouldn't you be sharing with me your dessert? How about we do that? Huh? I've never felt like this before. These butterflies in my stomach, my legs shaking, are nothing compared to what I feel when I'm with Dima. It's like walking on air. When we're tired all the time. I can't even imagine my life going forward without Dima. I wonder what about him impressed so much. Everything. Oh, don't play dumb. You know exactly what I'm talking about. About what? About sex, of course. It's not about that. So what is it about then? His rich inner circle and subtle spiritual philosophy. Come on. Relationships can only be called serious when something has already happened. Has it happened or not? Julia. Hmm. Julia, we're dating. Mama. Hey, what's all the commotion? Down here. Uh, Anya? <clears throat> hey there. Mom. Hi. Weren't you at the summer house? Sorry for interrupting. Mom, this is Anya. She's my girlfriend. I wanted to introduce her to you for a while now. Here, meet Anya. Anya, this is my mother, Larissa. Nice to meet you. The pleasure's all mine. Mom. Uh, excuse me. Mom. <sighs> Mom. Anya is a doctor. She's finishing her residency. And in the future, I'm sure she'll be a talented surgeon. Is that right? Yeah. Sorry, it might not be a good time. I'd better go. No, I'm going. I want to lie down. Please don't drop anything else. I need silence. Uh, uh, well, goodbye. It was very nice to meet you. Of course it was. Hey, 
Anya, where are you going? My goodness, that was so embarrassing. Oh, come on, it wasn't that Actually, bad. why did you say that I'm a future well, surgeon? Well, I shouldn't have. I'm sorry. <sighs> My mom can be moody sometimes. It doesn't matter. I love you. And that's the most important thing. Okay? Mm. Forget it. See you later, mm -hmm. okay? So who is this new Anya? She's my girlfriend, Mother. As I told you, she graduated from medical school. Hmm. Mm. Her father was a sailor, but he died when she was three years old. Her mom's a cook. Mm. She's retired now. And she lives... Somewhere in a small seaside town. <laughs> For some reason, I thought so. Mom. Dimitri, it seems that we've already gone over this with your previous Anya. But you apparently didn't get it the first time around, so I'll repeat it. I don't want you to bring any of these low-life little country girls anywhere near my house. Mom. Mom, come on. You know, I'm really serious about Anya. Dimitri, it's always very serious between you and anyone else. Just think about it. <laughs> Your mother-in-law is a cook. <laughs> it's a brilliant match. Anya's a very educated person. You know, she also finished Dimitri, musical school. I want you to listen to me carefully. I don't care whether Anya is good or bad. You, you just aren't the same kind of but... people. There is a social gap between you and her, and Mom, sooner or later, it I... will become but... apparent. I have to warn you, it will end very badly. Well, in that case, you should know that I love her very much, and I'm marrying her no matter what it Dimitri, takes. Dimitri, don't get on your soapbox with me. I don't want to hear the word marrying coming out of your mouth. I've earned all of this with a lot of work through the years to just give it away to some country girl. I raised you all by myself. I've invested so much in you, and I thought we were on the same page. I was hoping that you would find a good girl from a wealthy family who would be with you for who you are, and not for your apartment or your money, for God's sake. Anya's not with me for my money. And Mom, the whole world can't be measured in money alone. Do you remember when you said that to me? Yes, Dimitri, I did say that to you. But you, nevertheless, you drive the car I gave you. You can afford anything, and your pockets are stuffed with money. My money. Because you haven't earned a single penny of it on your so, so own. So it's like that? Mm-hmm. Well, then. <laughs> go Mom. on, then. Go on. You do it. Well, in that case, Mother... You can take everything you've given me. Go on, I don't need a damn on. thing from you. Bravo! Maybe this time you'll start doing something by yourself! Sorry. Hey, can you be more careful? These are expensive shoes I'm wearing. Are you that rich? What? Go get yourself a car if you're that rich. Let's take a walk downtown. The weather is so good. Uh-uh, no. I'm sorry, I've already walked enough for one day. <laughs> I really don't understand how people can use public transportation their whole lives. Welcome to the real world, Dima. Hmm. <laughs> No, I'm serious. I don't know if it's just my bad luck, or if people on the bus are all like that. Waiter, over here. Sir? Could I have the check, please? Right away. You're in a bad mood? Okay. Sorry. You wanted to talk about something? Mm-hmm. I'm listening. Actually, I have a suggestion. Okay. I can only live in the dorms until summer. Let's move in together. There you are, sir. Yeah. Hold that thought. Okay. What? What I don't understand. I thought I brought some money with me, but I'm afraid that I didn't. Never mind. I can pay. Thank you, Anya. I'll pay you back right away. Here you go. Thank you.
Tanya, the doctor needs you. It's urgent. I don't understand, Mom. How could you do this to me, huh? You know perfectly well that I live on the bare minimum. And that I'm not getting paid yet as a mm. filmmaker. But you're the one who wanted to live on your own. Everything I do, I do for you. And you'll understand that eventually. Mama, maybe you just didn't want me to be happy. With whom? Dimitri, you're a smart boy, but you don't understand anything about these country girls. Hmm. They'll do whatever it takes to stay in the city. By the way, has this Anya of yours told you she's pregnant yet? No, Mom. Anya's not like that. That'll be her next move. Hello? Dima? It's for you. Can you hear me? Hello, Dima? Hello? Dima, hi. We're going to have a baby. <laughs> Dima, can you hear me? What? Sweetheart, let me call you back, okay? Well, uh, I'll okay. call you right back. Okay. Oh, okay. I sure hope you won't fall for that. Think about it and make the right decision. For yourself. Dina. What? Don't be so quiet. I mean, it happened. Perhaps it's for the best. My mom will be here soon. She'll help us. We'll manage. And I'm sure your mom's heart will melt when she sees the baby. She's going to be a wonderful grandmother. Anya. I'll tell you once and for all. Don't ever speak for my mother. You understand? Okay, sure. I just can't wrap my head around it. You're a doctor. Couldn't you have done anything to prevent this from happening? Mm-mm. I completely lost my mind with you. But I'm glad that it happened. I'm so lucky. I'll have a big Dima and a little Dima. <laughs> For some reason, I know we're gonna have a boy. Hmm? Listen, Anya. Maybe you did this on purpose. What? So I couldn't get away from you. My mother says it to me every day, and I keep arguing with her like a fool. No, she's an exception. What kind of exception? Why are you acting so innocent? Dima, let's not fight. You sound just like your mother right now. In this case, she's not right. I... I love you very much. I do. Hmm? Okay. Well, I gotta go now. I... I'm on duty today. Will you come tomorrow? Mm-hmm. Mm we'll see. Mm-hmm. Bye. And we're rolling, guys. Look a little bit to the right of the camera. Good. Good. Straddle the bike. Don't forget the helmet behind him. Stop. Dima, hi. Oh, wow, Julia. Hi, what brings you here? Well, I was just Back shopping. What have you been doing? 
As you can see, we're shooting a movie. Oh, that's great. Listen, you look great. <laughs> thank you, thank One you. One sec. Put that to the right of the sunlight. What were you saying? Well, nothing special. What are you doing tonight? Do you have any plans? Yeah, as soon as I finish, I'm out of here. Well, then maybe we could meet and have a drink. It'll be just like old times, or maybe we could have a coffee. Hmm? Yeah, I'd love to. Then why don't you give me a call once you're done with work? Okay, you still have the same number? Yes. That's right, it. Then. Everything's ready. Sorry, I have to work. Mm -hmm. I'll call you. Mm -hmm. All right, we're rolling. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, slow it down, slow it down. Beautiful. Okay, now on the bike. That's perfect. Perfect. Natalia, what is this? Why did you get up? You shouldn't have done that. The stitches will come apart. Natalia, my granddaughter, promised to come see me this morning. And she hasn't come yet, and I'm worried something may have happened. We live in such turbulent times. Don't worry, she'll come. She'll be here soon, and you should lie down. Sveta, so. take her to the ward. Uh-huh. Come with me, ma'am. My sweet daughter, my sweet daughter. Oh, I wasn't expecting you. I'm, I'm so happy you're here. I missed you so much. Oh, <laughs> my God, you're so cold. Come on, come on. Let's go to the house. Oh, take the suitcase. Let, let me take it. Oh, it's, oh, it's so heavy. Oh, let's go. <sighs> Mom. Anya, what happened? What happened, Anya? Mom. Anya. Mom, it happened. All right, all right. Calm down. Don't cry, don't cry. Let's go to the house. You tell me everything there. Come on, let's go. Uh, Anechka, why did you get up so early? I mean, I could take the day off myself. You need to get some rest. Mom, why are you making me sleep day and night? It's not like I'm sick, I'm pregnant. <laughs> yes, you are pregnant. Hello. Hello, Nechka. How are you feeling? Well, it's just, you know, my back's been hurting a lot lately. And did you take the pills? Yes, of course I have. It's my only remedy. Oh, listen. Can you examine me? You are a doctor, after all. <laughs> okay, come okay. to our place. I will, I'll come. Mm. And what about the father? Haven't you heard from him? My daughter is a proud girl. She said she'll handle everything herself. He doesn't exist in her life, and that's it. Mom? What? 
Why are you dressing up like that so early in the morning? My classmate called and we're meeting up. The entire graduation class from my year. Cool. Are you going? Well, if I don't have any surgeries, I will. Where did you get that beautiful dress? <laughs> it's from my prom, can you imagine? And why don't you ever wear it? Actually, there hasn't been a special occasion. <gasps> I'm already running late. Will you hang it up for me? No problem. Thanks. Mm -hmm. You're coming home late today? Yeah, the usual. That means late. Good morning, Anya. Good morning. You've already been asked to verify when the first surgery starts. Also, the relatives of the patient from Ward 5 came to thank you, but missed you. They said they'll be coming back later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another patient's been admitted. Yeah, yeah, like his name is Yuri, Hello. four years old, what's the matter a with serious him? case. Cardiomyopathy. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about his diagnosis. He was very nervous while being processed. Hello. Such Hello. a pain. I think we're gonna have a lot of trouble with that one. No, well, we're used to this. I need to see his medical records okay. first. Don't you understand that this surgery is necessary? Why do I need surgery? Why can't you just prescribe some pills and let me go? Because you constantly self-medicate instead of going to the doctor. There is just no other way. You are the one to blame for not taking care of yourself. Well, you know what? I don't need you lecturing me. I'll decide what to do and where to go myself. Got it? Release me so I can get the hell out of here. I won't let you cut me open. Relax, relax. <sighs> Still have any doubts? I'll schedule the surgery for Thursday. It's obvious. Sure. Hello. Uh, Hello. Hi. Why are you both so weird? We're fine. Mm. Wash your hands and come sit at the table. Mm. Christina has baked an icebox cake for us. She is such a wonderful mm. cook. Icebox cake? Yes. I wonder what's going on. Last time you made that, you were 10 years old and it was for your fifth grade home ec class. No, nothing's going on. Mom, I've just decided I'm not going to medical school. Why? Oh, please, don't make that face. You know it's not my thing. My heart is not in it. I'm a creative person, and I'm bad at chemistry and biology. And if I go to medical school, I'll end up being a bad doctor. Who wants that? Yes. So you knew. What's so wrong about that? Why should Christina ruin her life by doing something she's not interested in doing? You're right. And what is Christina interested in? Well, I have decided that I want to make movies. So once I'm done with my exams and graduate, I'll go to the city and try to get into film school. Oh, yes. To film school? No. I don't understand who you got that from. <gasps> Mom, wait. What? I need to send them sample photos, and I have very few options right now. I need portraits. I thought maybe you can pose for me? I need to practice. Hmm? <sighs> then practice on your grandma. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello? Sweetheart? Are you home? Uh, well, I'm not your damn sweetheart. Julia, why are you swearing? I'm home, baby. Get your hands off uh, me. You're drunk. It would yeah. be better if you didn't come home at all. Fuck you. How on earth did I end up the loser instead of a man? Hey, listen. You think you're so perfect, don't you? You can't even get pregnant, Julia. Ah! Scum. I drink to forget.
Yulia. Listen, I'm sorry I wasn't myself last night. I said horrible things that I shouldn't have. And you know I didn't really mean any of it. Who is it that's been calling you all morning? What? I said, who's been calling you all morning? It was about work, Julia. So what are your plans? I'm working late today. He's working late today. And you forgot the fact that we're going to the Sherbakovs for the anniversary. <sighs> Why didn't you remind me yesterday? Don't you remember what happened yesterday? Well, I'm sorry, okay? What are we gonna do about it now? You should go by yourself. As always. Yulia. By the way, I forgot to tell you, I have a business trip planned. To select some pieces. But I don't think it'll take long, seven days at most. That okay? Why do you always have to be gone on your business trips? Look, don't start again. I'll get some coffee. <sighs> Honey. Hey, it's me. Yeah. I have good news. It all worked out. Yeah, we can leave tomorrow. Uh-huh. All right. Yeah, I love you. Can't wait to see you. Hello. Good afternoon, Doctor. Hello. Good afternoon. How are you feeling? Well, as you can see, you got me back on my feet. That's good. I'll check on you later. Thank you. Anya, Petrenko from Ward 10 has stitches that need to be looked at. All right. Nastya, what about Samoylov? Is he all what alone? What do you mean? Well... I mean, does anyone come to visit him? Friends? Relatives? The man has recently undergone Friends? surgery. I haven't seen anybody. I'll be surprised if anyone comes to visit him. So about Petrenko? Huh? What about Petrenko? The woman from Ward 10. The one with the stitches? You need to check on her. Yes, I'm coming. Honey, why don't we fly instead? What don't you like about the car? Look, the road, the scenery, it's beautiful, romantic. Sure, and not only can I not even feel my ass anymore sitting in this bloody car, but we're a losing time. A lot of time, time. It's, only, it's only four hours. It's not only, it's a whole four hours. Listen, sit back, take a breath, and calm down, okay? Just play some music. Don't yell at me. Don't yell at me. You could at least take off the ring. There you go. Happy? So once we get there, we'll go shopping and you can buy anything you want. Anything I want? Yeah, I said anything you want. Whatever you say, darling. Hey, I'm driving. What are you doing? And so Just what? wait till we get there, okay? I need to focus. The patient was admitted after a serious car accident. Unconscious. The condition is critical, but still. And the blood work? Here you go. X-rays? Here, Dmitry Krasnitsky. Okay. Who? The patient is Dmitry Krasnitsky. Anya, is everything all right? Yes, yes, prepare him for surgery. Okay. Finished. Mm-hmm. Good afternoon, Doctor. Oh, hello. You look like you're a little cold out here. No, I'm all right. Just a complicated surgery. Mm. I can see you're stressed, so I decided to keep you company. Thank you. And how are you feeling? 
Not bad. With your blessings and expertise, I'm almost running again. <laughs> I'm happy for you. Listen, Anya. I really apologize for that outburst in your office. Mm. To tell you the truth, I just don't like doctors. But now, if it hadn't been for your help, I may not be sitting here talking to you at all. Come on, don't exaggerate. Your diagnosis wasn't so oh, fatal. Oh, come on, stop it. We should go inside. It's getting cold. Let's go. to you. Uh, How are you feeling? Are you awake now? Uh, uh -huh. I'm not sure. Oh my god, what happened? You ended up here after a car accident. You had surgery. Uh, and yesterday you were transferred from the intensive care unit to a regular ward. And where's the girl? What girl? The one that was with me. Is she alive? Yes, she's alive. She walked away with barely a scratch. She's very lucky. Uh, where is she? She's gone. What? I, I, I need a phone. I need a call. Relax, relax. You're not I need a call. Well, what kind of pushover are you? And what should I have done? Let him see you there to shock the hell out of him, right? Why? So he knows who he owes his life to. Maybe that way he'll come to his senses at least. Mom, don't be so pathetic, okay? You are so dumb, Anya. If you don't think about yourself, at least think about Christina and... And what? And nothing. He is her father. He should know. Even a bad sheep gives a bit of wool. <laughs> Christina is smart. She will manage. And besides, we don't need handouts from anybody. Not one man will tolerate you with your principles. Not one single man, Anya. Oh, don't eat dry bread. Okay, Dima, just sit over there on that bench. The taxi should be driving up soon. And meanwhile, I'll go thank the doctor. I think she should be available by now. Okay? This is stupid. We should have bought her cookies or something. Oh, come on, Dima. I'll be right back. Excuse me, Anya. Do you have a minute? Yes, yes, come in. Anya, thank you. I am Dima's wife, and I... Uh... Anya? I haven't seen you in ages. Uh, and you work here, is that so? <laughs> Listen, Dima and I are so very grateful to you. Thank you so much. Here, here you go. Take the money back. Come on, Anya, let bygones be bygones. Get out. <sighs> Come on, Anya. You know what? It was your fault, you know that? You were the one who let him go. Don't pretend to be such an innocent little lamb here, okay? Mom? Hello. Hello. Are you busy? Hello, honey. Come in. Hello. Hi. Okay, the taxi's already here. Well, I'm coming to get you now, my love. Uh-huh. Well, I have to go now. I wish you the best, Anya. I love you so much, darling. Uh, Mom, is everything all right? Mm-hmm. Yes, everything's fine. Uh, I'm just tired. You don't want me to leave, do you? No, honey, what if... What if this is your calling? Well, then you'll let me take your picture. <laughs> okay. Please 
take that cardigan off. But why? It doesn't look good. Yes, yeah, something's wrong. Can't you tell? Mom, you're so beautiful and you dress like you're 70 years old. Yes. Why don't you put on your red dress? Which one? The prom dress. Exactly. Let's Are try that. Are you kidding? That. I can't wear that. Yes, you can. Come on. Yes, yes. <sighs> oh, all right. Let's see what Look you can show me. Oh, so beautiful. Here's another Good one. Job. Go on, go on, go on. Grandma, go stand over there. Uh, Let me okay, take your picture. Yes, yes. <laughs> and turn to me. Where? Look to the right. Uh -huh. You have a beautiful profile. Is showing? Your oh, back looks great. perfect. Just come here. Okay, so just stand here. You're good. Grandma, pour some, some wine. Oh, I don't want any wine. You don't have to drink it. You're just going to hold it. Great. Here. Take it. Raise your glass to the light and just keep looking at it. You're a beauty. A natural model. <laughs> Super. I think I'll name this series Portrait of a Woman in Red. Everyone will just love it. Mm. Anya, you're mopping the floors for the third time now. You're going to put a hole in it. Come on. Oh, I'm worried about Christina. They said they'd let her know in a month, but it's been two and she hasn't heard. What if she doesn't get in after all? Well, if she doesn't, it's not a big deal. She will prepare again next year. She doesn't have to join the army. I'm sure she's got enough time, so I'm going to throw this mop Ooh, the hell out, Mom. out of here right now. Mom. Grandma, I just heard back from them. They like my work and they want me to do a final art exam! Oh, really? <laughs> yes! Oh. <laughs> Christina, please make sure to call us as soon as you arrive, okay. okay? And keep the money with you or someone could steal it. Mom, come on. I'm not five anymore. <laughs> mm, honey. Well, everything will be great. All right. Don't worry, okay? Mm hmm Okay, be careful. Oh, <laughs> My Grandma. Sweetheart. Now you need to be a good girl. Keep an eye on mom, okay? Uh, uh, I gotta go. Yes. Hurry up, my baby. Bye. Bye. Go, go. Oh, come on, Anya. You look as if you were sending her off to war, God forbid. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, huh? You went to school in the city yourself. Have you forgotten? Yes, I'll. Mm. I'll never forget mm. that. Mm. So, do you still regret it? Mm -mm. No, I don't regret it. The main thing is for her to be okay. Christ in the Desert by Kromskoy. That's correct. Let's take a look at the next one. This one is by Vrubel, the demon. Yes. The Supper by Leon Boxed. It is often compared to the picture Girl mm -hmm. with Peaches by Serov. Not always a favorable comparison to the original. Well done, miss. You have a good knowledge of art history. And why have you chosen to apply to our school? I dreamed of cinema since I was a kid. I think of cinema as a unique art form that beautifully combines literary and artistic sources. Well, I don't think I have any more questions. Neither do I. Do you have any more questions, Yuri? No, I have no questions. Thank you, Christina. You may go. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. <sighs> oh my goodness. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm oh, sorry. I'm really sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Hi, everyone. <clears throat> I'm sorry I'm late. You're late again, Nima? Mm -hmm. <sighs> I was at work. Yeah. Moonlighting. I know you all know. about oh. your moonlighting. Uh -huh. I'm so over this. This is useless work. Only third graders apply here. We have to look, read, and comment on their work? They're not only dumb, they're dumb and untalented. They don't know a damn thing. Here, for example, he said that The Heart of a Dog was written by Pushkin. On the other hand, a cinematographer doesn't need to know who wrote something. It may not help them at all. But this is degrading. No. Makes me sick. 
So was there anyone even halfway talented today? Huh? Yes, well, we saw some talented people. Here are the photos. Take a look. You say talented? All right, then. Let's take a look. Well, this is the work we have to do. Nothing can be done about it. By the way, don't be late tomorrow, Dimitri. We have a lot of work we need to do. Dimitri. Uh. Are you listening? Whose are these? It's written on the back. Is there a file here? Let me see it. Here it is. Enjoy. It says here that her name is Christina. Born in 2000. <laughs> How did she do? Is there any chance of her getting in? Oh, there's no doubt. Her scores are high. She did excellent on the creative exam. She's a very talented girl. Why do you ask? Dima, what's up? You look like hell. The inevitable has happened, Kolya. You have anything to drink? Well, there's some cognac at the office. Let's go to the office, then. Let's go. Why weren't you picking up your phone? I was sleeping. What, do you sleep well while your mother is dying? Mom, you are in perfect health. At least that's what all of your tests show. Yes. But why do I have shortness of breath, heart, heart palpitations, and weakness? Mom, you have angina. The doctor said it's nothing serious. Yeah, nothing serious. You just don't take care of your mother anymore. Mom. Since you retired, you've become unbearable. So call the doctor. What do you want me to do about it? First of all, your wife is a doctor. Okay, bye. <sighs> good morning. Looking at you, I can hardly say that it's good. Yulia, don't start. I have a splitting headache. You shouldn't have had so much to drink. Why are you going off on me? As if you didn't know how much work I have? Mm -hmm. We're in the selection process. Mm -hmm. I'm in the admissions committee, hundreds of students. Mm. Yulia. What? Mm. There's one thing. Mom called. She's not feeling well. And what about it? Well, maybe you could go visit her. <laughs> oh, and I'm thinking, why is he being so sweet to me? He just doesn't want to spend money on the doctor. Anya would never say something like that. What Anya? Ah, your former love. Why are you talking about her? You been dreaming about her? Hmm? But still, we are talking about my mother. Is that too much to ask? <sighs> so are you going to go or not? Uh, I'm over your mother. What? I will, I'll go. <sighs> and is it far from the dorm to the school? Walking? Well, most important is not to choose a bed by the window, or you might catch a cold. Uh, okay, okay, I'll shut up. Anya, hello. Uh-huh. And when do the lectures begin? Uh-huh, okay. Honey, I have to go. I'm at work. I'll give you a call tonight. Love you. Hello. Sorry, am I interrupting? No, you're not. My daughter went off to school recently. So now, I catch up with her whenever I can. Ah. Yeah, I see. And, uh, I've been undergoing my second tests. You know, everything is fine. Mm hmm The last time when I was being released, it seems you were in surgery. Yes. Mm. Well, I, you know... Honestly, I'm glad that I found you here personally. I can't say beautiful words. 
Actually, I would like to know if you would have dinner with me tomorrow. If you would like, of course. Me? Well, it's a little high. But that's completely normal at your age. Thank you for reminding me of how old I am. You're very welcome. And my chest pain is also normal? Mm. Just take the nitroglycerin twice a day. You know very well what to do with angina. Get it together. It's like you can't think straight. I've already taken it. Well, then take more. Larissa, look, I'm sorry, but I really need to go to work. I'm late as it is. And if it doesn't help? Well, then call an ambulance. Yulia. Yulia. You did it on purpose. No. You hated her from the moment you met her. I thought she had her. another attack of angina. She would pass out like that every week. You thought? What were you really thinking? <laughs> huh? Dimitri, please take this and calm down. <laughs> Shut up. You knew she was having a heart attack, and you let her die on purpose. You are worthless as a woman, and you are worth a shit as a doctor. I don't understand why I still live with you. Really? Why do you live with me, huh? Go pack up your things and get out of here! Good thing you have a place to live! Get out! Don't, 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 don't touch me! Uh, no, not that one. Anya? And this Yuri? Who is he? He's a friend of mine that used to be a pilot. Oh. And now he's doing business locally. He's a nice man. And how old is he? Forty. Oh, wonderful. He's still young. Perhaps you can have another little one. <gasps> Mom, we're just having dinner. And who knows what it could turn into? Try this out. Oh, you know, sometimes I think you forget I'm not a teenager anymore, Mom. And you forget that you're not an old lady yet. You need to get your personal life in order. <sighs> I feel like canceling the whole thing. But why? Because I haven't been on a date for about 17 years. Anya, do you remember when you were a little girl, I had a boyfriend. His name was Vladimir. In college? Yes. Yes, and? Well, I refused to marry him and... Why? I thought you would get upset. Maybe jealous or angry. Mom, is there a reason you're telling me all this? Huh? Don't make the mistake I made, Anya. We shouldn't live our lives only, only for the sake of our children. They grow up, they move out, and they, they go on with their lives and you are left to grow old, all alone. Who needs these senseless sacrifices? Come on, Mom, oh. it's fine. Let me, but oh, you won't get older anytime soon. You're still so young and beautiful. Come on in. I have an excellent bottle of wine. My pilot buddies send it to me from Tbilisi. Care for some? Yeah, that sounds good. <sighs> so, your daughter decided to become a cinematographer. Yes. And she forced you to face the fact. Yes, she did. Uh, Actually, you know, I didn't think it would be so difficult to accept that my daughter has really grown up. Yes, yes, I know. Time really flies, doesn't it? 
but it's okay. I think you'll be just fine. You have an amazing career, the most noble of all. You save people's lives. And here I thought you didn't like doctors. Well, to be honest, somehow I still don't really like them. So how did we fall from grace? Don't worry about that. All right. Mm. It's so cozy here. Yeah, everything remains as it was with... Your ex-wife? Is that her? Yes. My wife. Olga. Five years ago, she... died in the hospital. During childbirth. The doctor's mistake. They weren't able to save the child, either. I'm sorry, I didn't know. So many years have passed, but I still can't forget. That's why I didn't rush to the hospital and didn't want the surgery, and it's why I don't like doctors very much. Please forgive me. You are very aware, Anya. It's a rare quality. <laughs> Thank you. Once Olga was gone, I decided that I wouldn't let anyone into my life again. Oh. Mm. So then, what is this all for? I don't understand. I was wrong. Anya. Until I met you, I thought that I'd never feel alive again. <laughs> and now? Now I understand that my life has just begun. I want to change my life, Anya. Do you think you can help me with that? <laughs> Professor Dimitri. Huh? Excuse me. I have yeah. a question. Yeah. Could you uh tell me how to make an image more uh voluminous, not flat? Uh voluminous. Christina. Yes. How? Well, there are several ways. First, there is perspective, mm -hmm. linear and tonal. Secondly, there's light. I know. And you actually used it remarkably well in your work that you submitted. To the final selection committee. Really? Well, as I saw it, you used it quite unexpectedly. But it was really good work. Do you think so? A uh, portrait of a, of a woman, woman in, in red. red. Yeah. I was really impressed. Uh, is that your mother? Yes, that's my mom. Is her... is her name Anya, by any chance? Yes, Anya. Why, do you know her? Yeah. Your mother and I used to be... used to be friends. When we were young, but then we lost touch. It happens, you know? <laughs> How is she? What's she doing now? She's great. She's very busy. Mm, she's a surgeon. A surgeon? Yes. Uh, and your father? What does he do? Unfortunately, my father died before I was born. I don't know much about him. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's a shame. Anyway... Will you see her soon? This weekend, I'm going home to Primorsk. Give her my regards. I will. Primorsk. What a coincidence. This weekend I also have a trip planned to Primorsk. <laughs> I have a job there. We're scouting locations. Really? Yeah. So maybe we can all get together. You could come by and visit us. My mom would love that. Yeah. Uh, that would be great. Almost there. Huh? We should be there in a few minutes. Really? Listen, I've been... I've been thinking. Your mom doesn't know that I'm coming with you. Maybe I shouldn't see her right away. What do you mean? Well, I just think that she might want to spend some time just the two of you, you know? Maybe it's better... 
Maybe it's better if I come to dinner at your place tomorrow at seven. Hmm? Mm. Okay. Yeah? Mm hmm. Okay then. promised to meet me at the station. Well, I'm sorry. I totally spaced. Were you at work? Yes. But you have a day off today, don't you? Oh, no. Not at work. I was just on business. Here, these are for you. Give me your bag. No, I've got it. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. It was my fault. I'll make it up to you. And where's Grandma? Try to guess. She's baking pies. Of course. I'm full, thank you, Grandma. Eat, eat, eat. Look how thin you are. No, I'm not skinny. I'm slender. These are different things. Mom, please leave the kid alone. Thank you, Mom. Christina, I wanted to tell you Mom, that... wait. Listen, tomorrow night you have to be at home. But why? It's a surprise. Christina, you know very well that I don't like surprises. What are you up to? I can't tell you. Tomorrow you'll find out. No, sweetie. Tomorrow we're going out with you and... And that's right, because even though you are very slender, your complexion is a little too pale. Grandma. Mm -hmm. Listen, Christina. Do you have any handsome boys in your class, huh? Oh, come on, Grandma. Mom, that's enough with your matchmaking. <laughs> Who's she talking to? Honey, your mom has another friend in her life. Well, that's very interesting. Mom, what's going on? <sighs> you seem totally different. Christina, I'm going to introduce you to somebody who is a friend of mine, and I ask you to give him a chance, okay? Well, I'll try. <laughs> Tell me, is he the reason you didn't show up at the bus station? Christina. Okay, okay, let's go. <laughs> I'll meet him. Hi. Hi. Well, I'd like you to meet my daughter, Christina. Nice to meet you. This is Yuri. Nice to Yuri. meet you. Join me. Have a seat. Hungry? Have a look at the menu. I'm not hungry. I'll just have water. <clears throat> well, maybe dessert? Coffee then? Coffee is bad for the heart. That's something you should know at your age. Hmm. <laughs> Christina. What? <clears throat> Stop. <clears throat> <clears throat> well, how's school going, Christina? Do you like it? Yes. Quite honestly, I couldn't believe it when your mother told me that you had decided to apply for the cinematography department at school. Why not? Well, it's not usually a career for women. Well, this country is based on equality, and there is no such thing as male or female occupations. Hmm. All I wanted to say is that I think you're doing a great job. 
although it's quite original. Uh, cinematography work is... It's physically demanding. You understand? Are you a filmmaker? It's... No. Then let's change the subject. Okay. So, what are your plans with my mom? I have serious plans. Do you mean you are going to marry her? Yes, I am. Well, I guess I'm glad to be finding out. You're welcome. Christina, we haven't made a decision yet. Well, it seems that you have. It looks like your boyfriend has decided everything, and you have accepted it, haven't you? Listen, Christina, you this should- This is none of your business. Stay out. Leave the table. All right. <clears throat> well, it seems to me your daughter could have been a little more polite. And you too. Why did you tell her about the wedding? We haven't discussed it at all. It's already so difficult for her. She's away from us all alone. Yes, that's why she's become out of control. Do you have your own children? Oh, no? Then please don't interfere. And don't tell me how to raise my daughter. Just water, please. Mom. Mom, I'm so sorry. I know I was out of line. But your boyfriend is also, you know, a little rude. I was not gonna put up with that. I don't understand how you can even have the nerve to talk about him like that. How dare you? You were the only person who was rude at that table, honestly. I'm really ashamed of you, Christina. <sighs> of course, now I'm an evil daughter and he's a knight in shining armor. Don't talk nonsense. Mm-hmm, a knight who's liberated you from us and made you happy. Don't you want me to be happy, sweetie? Mom. These are for you. So you were shooting Dream Shores? Yeah, I did actually. Wow, that's my favorite TV show. You have such an interesting job. Would you like some more wine? I'd like some. Huh. Put the glass down. You're still underage. Well, Christina, your mother has always had Pretty strict morals. Yes, I know. She's quite strict. And by the way, how do you two know each other? Oh, your mother and I. We've known each other for a very long time. С ума музыка ливня над старой кровлей. Этот романс, этот романс мы назовем любовью. She must be tired. Probably. Perhaps I should go too. Will It's you time. come back tomorrow and join us for dinner? Yes, please do. By all means. It was very nice. Very And nice. for me, too. See you tomorrow, Dimitri. Good night. <laughs> Ah, 
On your way. What do you want? Listen to me. You want to ruin my life for a second time? No, I just came here to talk to you, Anya. <sighs> about what? About something important. About the fact that I have a daughter. A daughter I didn't know about. Because you kept it from me all these years. A daughter that I never even had a chance to meet. Listen, Dima. There are no victims here. You know perfectly well what really happened between us. Anya, I'm not asking you for much. I'm only asking for a chance to communicate with Christina, not as my student, but also as my daughter. She's not your daughter. Whose is she, then? She's mine. And only mine. You have nothing to do with You're her. You're being irrational. It doesn't work that way. Listen, I admit it. I was young and stupid <laughs> and selfish. Whatever I need to say, I'll say it. I've had a lifetime to reflect. And those things that were important to me are of no value to me now, at all. Anya, I basically have nothing. No friends, no love, you hear me? And then I found out that I have a daughter. Anya, I know how hard it was for you. Anya, I know that you raised Christina alone and created a whole family. I'm ready to correct my mistakes and make it up to you. And I don't believe you. I don't believe a single word you say. Do you have somebody? Is there someone? <laughs> Anya! Anya, hello. I wanted to apologize to you for the incident at the restaurant. Of course, you were right. I probably shouldn't have spoken to Christina like that. Yuri, first of all, I'm sorry. There are things you don't know. Did something happen? Yes, it did. I just don't want to get you involved. Well, Anya, I'm right here. I'm listening. So, Christina's father showed up. What? Yes, and he is also a teacher at her university. He's also a teacher at her school? It's just... So, how did he find you? So, no, wait, right now you need my help. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'll figure it out. Anya, we're waiting for you. Yes, yes, I'm coming. Anya, Anya. Hey, Christina. Lena? What Hi. are you doing here? I haven't seen you in forever. Yeah, that's right. You're a good girl now. So, tell me how you've been. Everything is fine. I'm in school, living in the dorms. Have you already picked up a guy? No, I just don't have time for that right now. Why are you wasting your time? There's so many rich guys in the city. Mm. Listen, there's a cool party in the club. It's later tonight. You want to hang out? I'm not sure if I can. My mom might not let me go. Come on! You still have to ask your mom for permission? No, of course not. I'm just kidding. Sure, I'll come. Cool. All right, I'll see you then. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Christina. I'm home. You see, Christina, people go to the movies not to watch, but to sympathize. Empathize. The movie should make viewers forget that they're at the cinema. Don't you agree, <laughs> you, beautiful lady? You should ask someone else, Dimitri. Actually, I only like old movies. <laughs> Anya, mm. we didn't hear you come in. Hi, Mom. Hello, everybody. Why are you here? Anya, come on, honey. We had dinner without you. 
Dimitri brought us such a delicious cake. Yes. <laughs> cake. Yes? Well then, let's have tea. <sighs> Mom, I'm not gonna stay for tea. Why? Well, I ran into Lena earlier, and we're going out. And has your mother given you permission? Mom, please. You saw what time it is? Well, Anya, you're just like an old woman. The girl studies day and night without any rest, and now she has an opportunity to go have a good time, and you don't want her to meet her friends. I agree with that. Thank you. I gotta run. Have you seen this, Lena? You wouldn't agree. No, I haven't seen her, but why do you worry so much? Christina's an adult. She has a good head on her shoulders, right? Christina! Yes? Let's agree you'll be home at 1 a.m. Yes. Okay. Well, let's stop arguing. Let's have some tea. Hmm? Fun tonight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, oh, these girls are sexy as hell. Yeah, these are quite hot, especially yeah, the last right, one. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. So, then. follow me. <laughs> let's go. go. Oh. <sighs> Tamara. What? What's wrong with your faucet? It's been leaking for a week already. There are no men in the house and no one's been able to fix it. Why don't you let me fix it for you? I know you can fix it. <laughs> You're a golden man. The tools are in a box in the hallway. Uh-huh. Ah, damn it. Who are you looking for? Actually, I'm here to see Anya. Is she in? Anya is busy. Should I give her a message? And who are you? What are you doing here? How is that your business? I see. Move aside. Anya! Hey, man, what are you doing? Anya! Hello? Anya! Anya! I don't get it. What's going on here? Yuri! Well, should we talk? All right, let's talk. Mm. Woo! Damn! Uh -huh. Hey, what's your name? Oh, hey. Hi. Hi. I'm Ivan. Yeah, nice to meet you. It's cool here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. You're a good dancer, by the way. Yeah, me too. Thank you. Yeah, nice. You want a drink? Mm -hmm. Okay. Wait here. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Please stop, huh? both of you. I told you that there's nothing between us. Is that right? Really, Anya? There's nothing between us! Stop it! I think there is something between us. Maybe I should remind everyone that I am the biological father of your daughter. I don't feel well. I don't understand how one mojito can make me so drunk. Relax, relax. Wait, don't touch me. Everything's okay. Don't Let be go. afraid. Get your hands off of me. Don't be afraid. Let me go. I'll scream. Come on. Let me go. He's gonna hear you. Anyway, you're not going anywhere. So I officially declare that I've always loved Anya. And I'm still in love with her. And Anya loves me. Admit it. You still love me. Could you please shut up? What? Yeah, come with me! Uh. 
Stop. Stop running. No. Let me go. Shut her up. Let me go. Damn. There are seven missed calls from Christina. She must have called by accident. I've done it a hundred times. No, no. Something's happened. I can feel it. Anya, call her right away. No, no. We're wasting time. So, where is she? At a club on Sadovaya Street. Mm hmm Let's go. There she is. Oh my god, Christina! You stay here, don't get out of the car. Anya, call the police! Hey, let me go! Hey, leave her hey, alone! Help me. Hey, someone call the Come police! On, stop moving around! Hey, you over there, what's happening? Help me! Hey, stop fighting! Stop! Stop it! Hey, stop it! Stop it. Run, run! Let's go! Yuri! No, please! Yuri! No! You're gonna be okay! Yuri! Oh my love! You're gonna be okay! I'm alright! Stay with me! It's alright! Yuri! She called my cell phone, and when we got here, she was being attacked. I'm his wife. Then, wait a minute. Uh, Christina, Christina, let's go. Christina, I wanted to tell you something. I'm your father. But it's true. Listen, I. Christina! Christina, I... I'm your father. Do you hear me? Christina. <laughs> <laughs>